All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, Do not say that those who are killed in Allah's cause are dead. They are alive, though you do not realize it. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and that our master, Prophet Muhammad, is his father and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path till the day of judgment. The Egyptians are celebrating in these days the memory of one of the greatest occasions in, his, in its history. A blessed day from the Almighty Allah, on which Allah has granted Egypt a victory and the restoration of its land and dignity. It is the memory of the victories of the 6th of October, 1973. It is a great battle in which the Egyptian armed forces set the highest example of bravery and sacrifice. This day has manifested the true nature of the Egyptian soldier who firmly believes in Allah and trusts the victory from Allah. A soldier who is determined and willful in his work to achieve his goals. When one's goals are sublime, his purposes are honorable and his objectives are noble then the sacrifices that, that one makes must be great. There is nothing to sacrifice better than one's own soul to get martyrdom for the sake of Allah and to defend one's faith, land, and country. The status of martyrdom is a divine grant and gift from Allah the Almighty, which He grants to His most beloved creation after prophets. The Almighty Allah says, Whoever obeys Allah and the Messenger will be among those He has blessed the messengers, the truthful, those who bear witness to the truth, and the righteous. What excellent companions they are. So when Allah makes someone a martyr, this means that this person is beloved to Allah, and that's a great status. The glorious Quran ref referred to this saying, and Allah takes from you martyrs. A martyr is the one who sacrifices himself in order to please his Lord and defend his homeland. He prefers the afterlife to this world and defeats his own desires and lusts. He fights for the sake of his religion and nation. Let the martyrs be happy for this blessed status. They win the deal as the Almighty Allah says, Allah has purchased the persons and possessions of the believers in return for the garden they fight in Allah's way, they kill and are killed. This is a true promise given by him in the Torah, the Gospel, and the Quran. How profitable this deal that leads to paradise. It is reported that Umm Rabi'ah bint al-Bara, who was the mother of Haritha ibn Surata, came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and said, O Messenger of Allah, will you not tell me about Haritha? He was killed in the battle of Badr. If he is in paradise, I shall show endurance. But if he has met another fate, I may exert myself in weeping for him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, replied, O mother of, ha of Haritha, in the gardens of paradise there are many ranks, and your son has attained al firdaus the highest. The true martyr is the one who is devoted to Allah and who sacrifices his soul to uphold the word of Allah and to defend his land and nation. Abu Musa narrated that a man came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and asked, A man fights for war booty, another fights for fame, and a third fights for showing off. Which one of them fights in Allah's cause? The Prophet, peace be upon him, replied, He who fights that Allah's word, that Islam, should be superior is the one who is fighting for the sake of Allah. Also, the true martyr is the one who does not accept any disgrace, rejects humiliation, and resists anyone who tries to attack his properties. <clears throat> Abu Huraira narrated that a man came to the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, and said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, what do you think if a man comes to me in order to appropriate my possession? The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Do not surrender your possession to him. The inquirer said, If he fights me, the Prophet remarked, then fight with him. 
The man asked again, What do you think if I am killed? The prophet observed, You would be a martyr. The inquirer asked again, What do you think of him if I kill him? The prophet said, He would be in the fire. Also, the true martyr is the one who defends his land, his honor, and his country. Defending one's homeland and honor in the, right, in the sight of the true Muslim is equal to defending one's soul and property. Sa'id ibn Zayd said, the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, he who dies while defending his property is a martyr. He who dies in defense of his family is a martyr. And he who dies in defense of his faith is a martyr. Consequently, <clears throat> the meaning of martyrdom is associated with the sacrifice of oneself for the sake of Allah in every situation in which it is necessary to defend the religion, to uphold the word of the Almighty Allah, or to defend homeland against any aggression. Love in one's homeland is part of faith. Happiness to be to the martyrs of the eternal epic of the passing of the canal who sacrificed their blood to save the land of Egypt. Please Allah and to win his reward which he promised them. We ask the Almighty Allah to make us martyrs. Martyrdom for the sake of Allah has many fruits, including that Allah told us that martyrs are alive in paradise, saying, O Prophet, do not think of those who have been killed in Allah's way as dead. They are al alive with their Lord, well provided for, happy with what Allah has given them of his favor, rejoicing that for those they have left behind who have yet to join them there is no fear <coughs> nor will they grieve they are rejoicing in Allah's blessing and favor that God will not let the reward of the believers be lost yet they are alive not dead they are being supplied with provision from Allah most high so they are always happy with the provision given to them from their lords and also feel, feel happy with the, their brothers that will join them because they will face no sadness or grief, rather great bounty and blessing from Allah. Jabir ibn Abdullah narrated, the messenger of Allah met me and said, O oh, Jabir, why do, do, do I see you upset? I said, O oh, messenger of Allah, my father was murdered on the day of Uhud, leaving my family leaving my family and that behind. The Prophet peace be upon him said, Shall I give you news of what your father met with Allah? He said, But of course, O Messenger of Allah. He said, Allah does not speak to anyone except from behind a veil. But he brought your fa father to speak to him directly. He said, O oh, my slave, do you wish that I give you anything? He said, O oh, Lord, Give me life so that I may fight for you a second time. So the Lord blessed and most high said, It has been decreed by me that they shall not return. He said, So this ayah was revealed. Think not of those who uh, are uh, who are uh, as dead who are killed in the way of Allah. The list of martyrs ranks includes the following six traits recording recorded in the hadith of al muqdam may allah be pleased with him who said the messenger of allah peace be upon him said the murderer has six things in store with allah he is forgiving at the first drop of his blood he is shown his place in paradise he is spared the torment of the grave he is kept <coughs> kept safe from the great fright he is adorned with a garment of faith. He is married to wives from among the wide-eyed whores, and he is permitted to intercede for 70 of his relatives. Also, of the different kinds of dignity prepared for the martyrs is that the angels cover them with their wings. In this regard, Jabir ibn Abdullah narrated, my father's mutilated body was brought to the messenger of Allah peace be upon him and was placed in front of him. I went to uncover his face but my companions forbade me. The more 
opening cries of a lady were, were hears. And it was said that she was either the daughter or sister of Amr. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Why is she crying? Or said, Do not cry, for the angels are, <clears throat> are, still, shading him, are still shading him with their wings. The list further includes that the murder will be among the first group ever to be admitted into paradise without being held for accountability or being punished. Amr ibn al-As, may Allah be pleased with him, said, <clears throat> I heard the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, say, <clears throat> On the Day of Judgment, Allah will order the paradise to come with all its adornment and beauty. And will then say, Where are my slaves who have fought in my cause, killed in my cause, hurt in my cause, and striven in my cause? Go to paradise, so they will be admitted into it with no accountability or punishment. The angels will then come and say, <clears throat> O our Lord, we praise you day and night and glorify you. Who are those whom you gave the precedence to us? Allah then replies, <clears throat> Those are the ones who have fought and hurt in my cause. Thus the angels will enter upon them from all the doors of the paradise. Peace be upon you for what you patiently endured, and excellent is the final home, they will say. <clears throat> the list also includes the murders, that the murders have the best houses ever in paradise. Samura ibn Jundub, may Allah be pleased with him, said, The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Last night two men came to me in a dream and made me ascend a tree and then admitted me into a better and superior house, better of which I have never seen. One of them said, This house is the house of murders. For all of this, only murderers are the ones who want to come back to life to be killed in the cause of Allah again. Anas, may Allah be pleased with him, narrated, The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Nobody who enters <coughs> paradise likes to go back to the world, even, he, even if he got <coughs> everything on earth, except a mujahid who wishes to return to the world, so that they may be murdered ten times because of the dignity they receive from Allah. With that said, I ask Allah for forgiveness for me and you. <coughs> Muslim brothers, attainment of major goal and ultimate objectives in this life requires big sacrifices in return. Without doubt, the more the goals and objectives are sublime, the more the sacrifices shall be rewarded in the best way ever, which is the case of he who sacrifices for his religion and home. <clears throat> our duty towards our beloved country and pure religion require that we should exert our utmost to cooperate with each other and to support each other to maintain its security, defend and protect it against any enemy awaiting to cause harm to our country. That we should be very watchful to deter he who even thinks of attacking our country, each according to his ability and in the frame of his work and duties. How lucky we are to have those heroic soldiers who firmly fastened to the rope of Allah, kept the promise they made to him, and could take our beloved country Egypt towards construction and building. I therefore extend my sincere greetings to our brave armed forces on the day of glorious victory. We on our part have another role to play, that's to take Egypt to the safe side of development, welfare, work, and production, to let the entire world know that those who demolished the Barlev line and the enemy's barrack on the glorious day have left behind their sons who are fully able to overcome all difficulties to maintain security, safety, development, and welfare by the permission of Allah. In this regard, we must unite behind our wise political leadership, our, <coughs> our brave armed forces, our national police, and all the establishments of our country. 
Oh Allah, keep Egypt and its people safe. Make it in permanent peace and security.